you know I'm an 80s classic Christian metal guy. But I know that the world of Christian metal is vastly bigger than my little favorite corner of it. And so going forward, I'm going to dip my toe into and get a taste of and do a little research on and share with you 50 of the most popular or 50 or so of the most popular subgenres in Christian metal. Now, it won't be every video. I'll be sprinkling in probably one of these a month, okay? But we're going to go on this journey together. Did you even know there were, there's like a hundred subgenres. It's crazy. In each of these videos, I'll pick three bands that I think represent the subgenre well to share with you. We'll listen to some clips from each of the featured band's music so that you can get a taste for what they sound like. And if you hear something you like, you can look them up. Today, right out of the gate, man, we're diving into the deep end as we begin with Christian Rocking you up for Jesus Christ with classic style hard rock music and practical Bible teaching. What once was considered to be an oxymoron, Christian death metal is now a thriving subgenre within Christian metal music. Bands like Living Sacrifice, Mortification, and Impending Doom. are leading the death metal charge with their brutal raw sound and their unapologetic message about faith in Jesus Christ. I never really say that much in interviews about like, you know, impending, you know, your dooms and impending. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Without yeah. Christ. It's kind of just kind of, I guess people just kind of get, get that because I get that a lot. Like, is that what it means? And I go, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Mortification started um, in 1990. Uh, first we got signed in America. Daniel Janeka from Modern Invasion was the one to set that up. He was over there. He used to distribute Nicola Barcia. And Marcus Steiger, who owns Nicola Barcia, he was looking for a Christian death metal band. You know, I'm a Christian, so I thought, you know, I'll just put that in there. It's what I believe. And uh, a lot of people hate me for it. A lot of people also love me for it as well. So. Now, the band symbol I have heard is... Uh called a repentagram yeah okay now where, where what's, that all, that up, what's that all about made that up all things that came out of brooke's mind <clears throat> and they all happen when he's just like laying there asleep <laughs> in the middle of like i think i fell asleep listening to like a metal band but i wasn't asleep you know that like you're half awake half asleep phase but i was too lazy to take the headphones off and i was listening and i just thought pentagram pentagram and it it's so simple i was just like repent it, or pentagram, <laughs> and then I think David. You like he was, yelled it. Yeah, David was sitting right here, and he like stood up, and I said it, and I didn't think anything was gonna happen to it. I just said the word. I don't know. I don't think I texted our manager or anybody, but like it seems like a few days later, there's like the symbol made for the idea that I had and what it is. And this is like another thing that kind of got inspired, kind of came up with it, and then I didn't realize there's nine points on it, and uh, there's nine fruits of the spirit. So each point is a fruit of the spirit. And then I, I again, didn't think anything of it. I thought, oh, it's cool. It's cool. Though. Like something, some people can grab onto it, kind of relate to it. A lot of kids told me that when, you know, they buy the shirts or whatever with that on it, you know, Christian people are like, what is that? Say, you know, Say thinking it's like a witchcraft or something. Right. You know, there's Christian Go people ahead. get freaked out, you know. <laughs> They're just so just, yeah, everything scared. It's a Christian. I, I don't know why. But kids are telling me, yeah, it's just a great like witness. They're like, what is that? And I'm like, oh, actually, it's this. All of us sort of independently, but together, you know, around the same time period, we're introduced to our faith and exploring that and trying to understand that. And I mean, we were all kind of learning our instruments, you know, we were very young, 15, 16 years old. So, you know, I could freaking barely play. Um, DJ was just super into getting as much music as possible that had to do with God as possible. So he ordered everything, but like wow. all, all in this time period, and this would have been like, you know, like 88, 89, 99% of the things that he would order out of the mail order stuff was just terrible. And even some of the more professional type stuff that was coming out, it was like, you know, the production was poor. Yeah. And that was, that was a big catalyst. He was just like, Lance is a better drummer than this guy. And like, he just had this vision of like, we all play, we're all into music, we're all into metal. We should 
form a band. And it all kind of coincided around this new faith that we had as teenagers. It just all kind of coincided together. But I definitely credit, you know, having this intense desire to do something for God and do something musically, because independent of that, I don't know that who knows if we ever would have started a band. Critics question the compatibility of Christianity with death metal, but fans love and embrace it as a powerful expression of their faith in Jesus. If you're a Christian metalhead looking for a raw, brutally heavy, gut-level way to bang your head in worship to Jesus, Christian death metal offers an authentic experience that is undeniable. If you like this video right now, reach down and give this video a like. It will, of course, encourage me, but it will also help more people see this video on YouTube. If you know somebody that you think this video might be a blessing to, grab the link and share it with them. Leave a comment, man. I'd love to hear from you, and I do my very best to read and reply to every single one. If you enjoyed this video, I think there's a couple more right over here that you might also enjoy. Check them out. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, man, and I'll catch you in the next video.